But before we understand the internals, let's take a step back and let's understand the three main things that a browser does. First, it reads the content from the internet. Secondly, it displays the content like text, images, buttons, input fields and so on. And third is dynamic and interactive. It allows us to click on buttons, see pop-ups, show errors, open another page and so on. Now let's see how these three things are actually implemented in the browser. First of all, how do you specify things like input fields, buttons, links and so on that are not in English, right? So this is a question that was actually around in 1965 and it turns out Ted Nelson came up with the idea called hypertext, hyper meaning beyond, which allows you to represent tables, lists, links and so on. But not until 1990 when Sir Tim Berners-Lee came up with uh, HTML, Hypertext Markup Language, which is based on another language called SGML that actually showed how you can represent all these things in HTML. Okay, so now you have a language, but how does a browser actually deal with HTML? So it uses something called as a document object modeling, DOM. What is a model? Let's take a quick detour. Model is a way to represent or mimic real world things or even ideas. And it turns out we as humans have been modeling various things and ideas for centuries. For example, we model sounds we make as language characters and words. And similarly, we model currencies using numbers and so on. Okay, but why create a model? First of all, to understand real world objects without having a real one. Secondly, to build APIs and analyze behavior. Thirdly, to represent real world inside the internet so we can do business easily. For example, moving money from an account to another account by simply adding and subtracting numbers. And finally, to persist ideas for generations. For example, models in JavaScript. In JavaScript, models are typically known as objects. You can model a person like below. All it is is just a simple key value pair. All right, so now that we know what a modeling is, how does the browser deal with the HTML? How is HTML modeled? The browser actually uses a program called as the HTML parser. The HTML parser reads the raw HTML and converts it into a tree-like structure called DOM or document object model. This is because the HTML looks very similar to a tree or a family tree structure. If you look closely at the HTML, it, you will see that it has parent element, child element, grandchildren elements, and it also has siblings and so on. And by modeling the HTML into DOM, browser authors can now build APIs and manipulate DOM programmatically. Uh, so far, we have discussed HTML parser. HTML parser simply takes the raw HTML and converts it into DOM. The following shows how a DOM would look like from JavaScript perspective. You have a document object that has a child body object and that in turn has h1 and a sibling child objects. 